with the release of Superman 2 in 1980, arguably the greatest Superman movie ever made, came 1981, and ABC released The Greatest American Hero. Now for me, this may have been the greatest superhero ever to land on TV. Join me, and let's take a look at the toys. So the greatest American hero would star William Catt, known as Ralph Hinckley in the show. William was coming off his 1978 lackluster hit Butch and the Sundance early years where he played Sundance. The character Bill Maxwell was played by Robert Culp. Robert Culp was probably better known for his TV series I Spy that ran from 1965 to 68. And then Pam Davidson, played by Connie Selica. I mean... Come on. So to capitalize on this massive hit that never would become, Mego in 1981 released the convertible bug in three and three quarter inch size with both Ralph and Bill's figure included. The Pam Davidson figure was never released in three and three quarter inch size. Mego would go on to make an eight inch line of figures with Bill, Ralph, and Pam included there. So midway through season one, the character Ralph Hinckley was changed to Ralph Hainley. So this was due to the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan on March 30th, 1981 by John Hinckley. The name Hinckley was changed back just a few months later. The TV show only ran for three seasons, 45 episodes, starting March 18th, 1981, and its final episode debuted on ABC February 3rd, 1983. Now, honestly, the show probably wasn't known for its acting or its storytelling. It's probably better known for its theme song, Believe It or Not, performed by Joey Scarberry. Now, let's take a closer look at these action figures. The likeness on this is pretty good. I mean, it does look like William Cat. There's fairly good detail, five points of articulation on this figure. Looks good on the back, cape, solid plastic. No accessories came with these figures, as you can see the painted gun in his waistband. Like all of Migo's action figures at this time, there wasn't a lot of paint detail. Faces, very minimal paint, no eyes. Does the figure look like Robert Culp? Eh, it looks pretty good to me. Ralph, I think, looks great. I, I love these two action figures. I am glad to have these two in my collection. I do wish they would have released the Pam Davidson figure, and I wish they would have put all three of them on card backs in blisters. That would have been really cool with the artwork. Overall, what do you think? Leave your comments below. Do you like this line? Do you love Mego action figures? Are you a fan of the show, or do you just walk around the house humming the song? Hey, thanks for joining me. If you like this kind of content, vintage toys and kind of unboxings, don't forget to like and subscribe. And then follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we have cool content on there. All right, guys, see you next time.